There has been a lot of discussion and criticism for the Indianapolis Colts and Jim Ursay after making the decision to fire their head coach and hire Jeff Saturday, former center, legendary Indianapolis Colts player, but somebody who has essentially no coaching experience. He has coached a little bit in high school. That's it. No college, no professional experience. Came straight from talking on ESPN to become the interim head coach for the Indianapolis Colts. And although a lot of that criticism has been baseless and senseless and completely focused across dividing people racially, Joe Thomas, former center for the Cleveland Browns, may have given the best analysis yet as to why a lot of people in the NFL are upset with this pick. And it has nothing to do with the color of Jeff Saturday's skin. It has nothing to do with taking opportunities away from minority head coaches or all that virtue signal bullshit. He's talking about the simple fact that when you look at this, it's not a good look and it's disrespectful to a lot of people that have been in the NFL for a very long time. Former Pro Bowler Joe Thomas calls Colts hiring Jeff Saturday disrespectful to the NFL and to other head coaches. The Indianapolis Colts hired former Pro Bowl center Jeff Saturday as the team's interim head coach following the firing of Frank Reich, and the move left many people baffled with the decision. Saturday's lack of coaching experience is why many were surprised that Colts owner Jim Ursay went with Saturday as the choice. And uh, Jim Ursay said, I'm glad he doesn't have any experience. I'm happy. That's one of the reasons I like it. Well, okay, Jim, whatever you say. But Joe Thomas on, uh, I, I think this is Good Morning Football or whatever. I forget what show it is over on NFL Network. But he had a take that I think the first 50 seconds, first minute, really sum up the reason why a lot of people have a problem with this decision. When you hire your drinking buddy to be the head coach of an NFL football team, it is one of the most disrespectful things I've ever seen in my entire life to the commitment, the lifestyle, and the experience that it takes to be an NFL coach, any coach, much less the head coach of the Indianapolis football Colts. I think the idea that he prefaced that with his drinking buddy, Jeff Saturday, does show the way a lot of people are viewing this and the reality of the situation, that it seems like Jim Mercer just hired his buddy. That's what it feels like. You have got to be kidding me that this is something that Jim Ursay and Jeff Saturday, who's not blameless for accepting the job, could have talked and decided that this was the best thing for the Indianapolis Colts at this juncture of the season. I'm going to tell you a quick story. I lived right next door to Rob Chudzinski. He was our head coach. And he goes on to tell a story about Rob Chizinski and basically how he never got to see his kids, how he never got to see his family because of the life, because of how committed he was to be a head coach. Joe Thomas says that's the reason he doesn't want to coach because of the time and dedication that it takes. So quite simply, he's saying that what is going on with the Indianapolis Colts with Jim Mercy making this decision, that's why a lot of players and coaches in the NFL are upset with it. Not because Jeff Saturday is white, as a lot of the mainstream media have been talking about, but for all the actual tangible reasons that it's a problem to to put somebody in like who's literally never been in any position anywhere close to this, why a lot of people feel weird about it. It's a different lifestyle because it's who you are. So the disrespect that NFL coaches have to feel when they saw that this hire was made is higher than almost anything I, I can ever possibly remember in the NFL. And then to defend the decision by saying, I'm happy that he doesn't have any experience, experience. He's not because scared. he's not scared. Like, if you didn't already insult every person that's worked their entire life to be a head coach in the NFL, then to go up there and say, I like that he's got no experience because all, all y'all NFL coaches are scared because you use logic and analytics to make decisions. I mean, it was... I was uh, happily eating some uh, fine French food and drinking French wine because I was in France with my kids earlier in the week. But when I saw this, I thought it was a joke. I thought I, maybe I had a little Google Translate and I, all of a sudden I'm in the wrong calendar and it's April 1st or something going on. And that, the reason I like this breakdown from Joe Thomas is because he doesn't make it political. He doesn't do the same mainstream media bullshit that's been going on. He just cuts straight to the point from the perspective of NFL player and somebody who has seen a lot of things in the NFL and what those guys are feeling right now. There is no doubt that this is a strange decision, but Jim Irsay is a weird fucking dude. I can't say it's surprising. Because this is Jim Ursay's M.O. Uh, he's a guy that makes weird gut decisions like this. I personally think he wants Jeff Saturday there because he's his friend and he just wants him to report back to him everything that's going on in the organization. With the players, with everybody there. I think he wants like a fly on the wall of everything that he can trust to tell him everything. That's personally what I think is going on. Either way, it's a weird look for the Colts. And they've got a long way to go this season with Jeff Saturday as their interim head coach. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.